I'm very happy to be here. I'm from Switzerland and I work for a small um, rail shop called Simplificator. Actually, I'm very surprised at how many women are here attending this conference and it makes me very happy. But I'm sure if you're a female developer, you know the feeling of being the only woman in a software team. And I really would like to change that. First of all, we have to ask ourselves, why don't we have more women in programming? So first of all, I think reputation is a really big problem. Many people um, think that we are just nerds and strange guys that have no life and code in the cellar with no windows or whatever. And these stereotypes can be very strong and people are also not too shy about them. For example, one old Australian guy I met in France told me, but you don't look like a programmer. I thought you'd be a fun girl. Or my grandmother, who lives in a small village in central Switzerland, asked me, now child, do I really have to tell the other village people that you are a computer programmer now? <laughs> and, <laughs> and my favorite, when I came here at the airport, I was coding uh, while waiting for the plane, and then a small girl was watching me, and then she turned to her mother and said, mommy, what is wrong with this little lady? <laughs> and, <laughs> And then her mother watched me too and she said, I don't know, honey, let's go sit somewhere else. <laughs> so, so this can be a really big problem because there are very bad associations about programmers. And another problem is, um, I think, self-doubts. And I, I can totally understand that because two and a half years ago I was the same. So people have to think you have to be ridiculously intelligent to be a programmer and that you have to know a lot about math and also when you watch the movies and you know the coder has to stop the bomb from exploding and then the console goes very fast and then people think I would never be able to do that. And in combination with this, I like this statement from GitHub CEO. He said, everyone has the potential to be a great developer, but not everyone has the opportunity. And normally we associate opportunities or lost opportunities with financial or political restrictions, but I think it's important to note that these can also be due to social values and what society thinks about the profession. So if someone would be really talented and would like to be a programmer but decides not to, to do so because of the stereotypes, it's a lost opportunity. Um, then you might ask ourselves, why do we need more women in programming? We're fine. So I think diversity is really important and people with more diverse background bring different values and views into a community and then eventually make the community better. And this again leads to better decisions. And if we all have different strengths and weaknesses and people with different backgrounds have different strengths and then we have a higher chance to actually level out each other's weaknesses. Now the most important thing, what can we do? I think the basic answer is open doors. So to spread the word and to tell people how programming is actually a very creative job and that you actually have to be very sociable and communicate to people and that you can't be just alone in your room and yeah, program. Um, and the second one is to provide opportunities if you can. For example, I knocked at my company's door and asked for an internship even though they didn't have one. And then they asked me, well, what can you already do? And I said, well, I know about strings and numbers. And then they hired me anyway, and now I'm working as a full-time developer. So they, I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Um, and also coaching at courses. For example, I co-founded a free programming course for women um, that's happening weekly, or I'm organizing Rails Girls in Zurich this year. So maybe if there's a rail school ha happening in your city, you might consider coach there. And also one important thing I think is to tell the teachers because children and especially girls start very early to think about what they might do later in their lives. And I think it's important to, that the career of programming is not ruled out this early in their lives. So I'm also in contact with different primary schools to, t to talk to children and to show them some of my coding work. And if you now say, well, this con consumes a lot of time, I don't have time to go to schools or to organize events, well, there's more you can do. You can just, if you're picked up by a friend at work, you can show him or her your code. And to 
tell people what programming is about and what fascinating things we can create with code. Because the more people know, the better, and hopefully these stereotypes will disappear eventually. One colleague of mine told me that, well, now you chose a man, man's profession and you just have to deal with being in, in a team as the only woman. And I really hope that at some point we don't have to call it a man's profession anymore, but that it's normal for everybody to be a developer. Thank you for your time.